So I want to talk a little bit about the Y Spy Air. That's what this webinar is, is really showcased for. It uses an application called Air Viewer, uh, which is available on Google Play or the, the Apple App Store, right? And there's a little image of it, but hopefully you guys can see this video okay. But I have one right here and I was going to just kind of show you what it looks like. It's kind of this black box, right? And uh, what it has is it has this mini USB port right here. And this is made to actually plug into the device. And we ship it with, with certain you know, various cables depending on what device you have. For instance, Google phones use USB-C, um, iPads and iPhones use Lightning, Android devices use uh, micro USB. So we ship it with various cables that you can connect to this. On the side here is another, ho hopefully you guys can see this, um, this is a micro USB connector, and this actually recharges the uh, the internal batteries. So it does have AAA batteries here, and it comes stock with rechargeable batteries, so you don't actually ever really have to take them out. Uh, it's really convenient. Just almost pretend like you have an internal battery pack in here, except you can swap them out if they start to lose quality. And uh, yeah, so really, really nice and handy. And then, of course, we do have this. Uh, uh, we ship it with an omnidirectional antenna. This just connects via RPSMA. And so if you have your own preferred high gain antennas, or if there's a directional antenna that supports the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band, um, it, it should work great. And in fact, it, it, we, we've tested the Alpha APA uh, SM25 directional antenna, and it works great not only for spectrum analysis, directionally locating spectrum, but it also works great for directionally locating client devices and, and Wi-Fi devices in terms of uh, 802.11 protocol. With this, um, tool, you get a real-time network overview. It's a lot like Insider, if you guys are familiar with Insider, that MetaGeek creates. Very, very uh, a good Wi-Fi scanner. It shows you what networks you're connected to and all the neighboring networks around you. Um, it also has some nice layer one and layer two info. And for those of you who aren't uh, familiar with the OSI model, uh, that just basically means spectrum and packet analysis. So it has a nice spectrum analyzer on it, and uh, it also has a, a packet analysis uh, feature as well, a packet analyzer. So with that, we're able to see uh, some client information, which is really, really neat. And especially considering this is on your phone or your mobile device, uh, the ability to see a client's roaming history is really, really neat. Uh, if, it if, if it goes roams from one access point to the other, or if it steers on the same access point from uh, the 2.4 gigahertz band to the 5 gigahertz band, you'll be able to see that history and a ton of other stuff too. As you can see from this screenshot, you can see the signal strength. Um, so you can actually track clients, which is really cool. I'll try and uh, uh, showcase that here in a second. Um, and uh, you can also see the retry rate and utilization. Really, really neat. And then now we actually have a snapshot. So this is pretty neat. You can actually go in each room. If you're a ISP technician, for instance, and you're maybe setting up Wi-Fi for a customer's house, you can go in each room and uh, verify coverage and send that snapshot up to the cloud and, uh, and, and take a look at that for later review or you know, historical analysis, really anything. Uh, there, there's a lot of options there. Um, and you know, if you're managing just a network uh, in your office, for instance, if you're just an MSP, uh, you can take baseline measurements and just, you know, it's always good to send, you know, if the Wi-Fi is working really well, it's great to send that up to the cloud and have a baseline measurement. And it kind of looks like this. Uh, this is just a GIF I made of uh, Rampart and my.metageek.com. You can go right now and create an account at my.metageek.com. I highly recommend it. It's a lot of really cool stuff here. As you can see, we have a really cool community. Uh, we have an idea section. We have, you know, you can, uh, a lot of really cool resources here. But uh, the most important thing is that if you do take snapshots, whether you're using Insider or Air Viewer, you can send those snapshots up to the cloud and, um, and uh, look, look, look at it here. And you can see signal strength over time, utilization over time. And we're constantly trying to pump as much data uh, as possible to the cloud. So we're, we're updating this pretty regularly.